Okay, so my film was cut off. I don't know why on earth that happens sometimes. I put onion peels in here, and there is one little... Oh, I guess it's floating now, right? One little garlic peel in there. I had the last little bit that I had here. I decided not to heat it up or put some hot water in it. Although I was able to dilute it. But I chose against it because I was going to put some honey... Uh, fermented honey with onions. The onions are already dissipated and that's why uh, this was a little more watery before. But anyway, it tastes delicious with milk and honey. Uh, you should put milk when you have cloves in there, which where are the cloves? Didn't I put cloves in here? I know I put cloves in there. I know I put cloves in there. <laughs> So I put two or three cloves in there. I'm not, I'm not going to show you uh, because I started to show you the process earlier, but then the camera turned off, so I have to redo it from the get-go. So you see cloves there. You see a couple of black things there floating around, right? Okay, so hopefully the camera won't turn off again because I can't keep repeating. And so I'm going to go to bed, and I'm going to leave this brewing by itself and it'll take a few days before I drink the whole thing it's not like I drink this every day sometimes I take just a little shot and sometimes yeah I recycle these cups too <laughs> and, uh, when I'm using my shot glasses as as weights for my fermentation like today I ran out of them um, I will use those little plastic cups I recycle a lot of things right okay so here's my you see the onion there matching the onion inside <laughs> Onion peel, there you go. And so, last but not least, I'm, I'm going to actually cover it. I'm going to actually cover it. Why? I want it to brew as, as, as nicely as possible. And it doesn't hurt to leave it brewing overnight. Right? So here we go. Boom. Boom. I didn't fill it up. There wasn't enough water. But it becomes very dark. Uh, if you remember the other film, I had a little bit in there and it was very dark. Um, and so I'm going to start not drinking it hot. Because uh, sometimes I could dilute it with hot water and it tastes like tea. It doesn't have a bad taste, believe it or not. But today I discovered that my very dark honey, uh, just a little bit in it and just a little bit of of, of, uh, believe it or not, you know what? I didn't realize. I put lemon in it. Oh my goodness. And then I put some half and half. But the, the good one that's just cream. Wow. Well, it's sort of like having, um, there's an alcoholic drink where they do put milk and they do put, like, like lemon or something. But you gotta drink it fast because before it cuts itself. So maybe that's why I got away with it. But I didn't realize that I had already put it. It's one or the other, typically, right? But it actually really tastes good. It actually really tastes good. So it's okay to do that, I guess, right? Nobody mixes lemon with cream because it's going to cut. It's going to curt. But it didn't curt with me. Maybe because it had honey and the honey kind of like kept it from curting. And I drank it pretty fast. It was really tasty. Ah. Uh, I'll replace coffee with that taste anytime. And besides, I can't really have caffeine. <laughs> Today I had coffee, but I, I really, it affects me. It makes me nervous. It gives me hypertension. And so I'm going to leave you with this. I reused my jars. I reused my, my peels, my onion peels, especially when they're organic. I love doing that. But two garlic cloves, two or three garlic cloves in here. And then I let it simmer. It's going to get darker and darker and darker. And let me just show you how I do it. Uh, you may think it's tacky. <laughs> but, oh, the reason why I got dark is because I used my red onion peels. And yes, I reuse these too. <laughs> I reuse a lot of stuff. These are my orange uh, onion peels. I'm letting them darken because these are the onions that I used for fermentation. And I threw most of it away because whatever has wet onions in it, I throw away, but I let, even this over here is a little bit too much because it has a little bit of white in it. But let's see, let it dry and see what happens. I've never done that. 
Uh, this one already dried out really nicely. I never really have white paper on it. This is what I use, just like this, okay? Except the other one was dark, and that's because I used dark red onions. So this one's probably not to be expected to be very dark. As you can see, there are some garlic peels in here. Look at that, just garlic peels. And it makes for a great drink. And guess what? It's free. <laughs> it's free. And it's got... The, the peel is probably far more nutritious than the actual onion and or garlic in itself. So I would encourage you to do what I do. Hey, I reuse these containers, right? Because I started to want, think, to want to do platonics or, or platonics, is it? You know, growing plants without dirt. Then I started buying dirt and I got all these and I put it, believe it or not, in the Facebook market. And there are a lot of people doing hydroponics, right? And uh, the other ones have holes because they come with the blueberries and strawberries. Uh, you know, they're actually pretty good in reusing, you know? I mean, why do I need to store this in, in a store-bought container only because it looks better? And first of all, this, is, this does look very unusual to the common eye. Okay, so you do see some orange peels in here. But mine was dark red today. And it was because I used these peels. So I'm not to expect this to be dark red. In fact, let me see. I'm going to put some red peel in it. So this stays open overnight while it dries. And uh, yes, the kitchen smells a little bit like onions. Uh, but let me um, put some red peels in here. Yeah, I want you to see what I'm doing. We put some red peels in here. I'm not sure I put enough peels in there anyway okay. and boom and boom 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 nothing goes to waste if I could help it and what's what's best is I believe this is going to keep me in my older age from going to the doctors I really am convinced that I know something that doctors don't want never wanted me to know. Same thing goes with you. What is that sound? What's in there? Okay, thank you and have yourself a great evening. Bye now.